So we might have broken the Daytona. We're gonna find out right now by starting it and seeing if she fires. Either way, it's got something wrong with it. Something's going on right something, now. Something's definitely So bad. assuming she fires, we are going to take her to an auto parts store and we're gonna have them test the alternator, the starter, the battery, all that. And if she doesn't, if there's a hill, we're gonna push her down. <laughs> Shove it down the hill and start it. <laughs> and yeah. start it manually. Okay. Oh no. Fellas, can I use your help? Can you help us push this car down the hill to bump start it? Ah, just hop in. <laughs> it's not going fast enough yet. Did it start? Not yet. Well. Just need to go faster. Oh, oh. Sorry, just... thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I love Hood Rat shit. Hood Rat shit. <laughs> what we just here yesterday? Back at O'Reilly's. This series should really be sponsored by O'Reilly's at this point. Oh yeah, get right up front. We'll get a nice thumbnail. You stay with the car. I'll go ask them. Okay. that because it looks pretty bad anyways hey can you guys test an alternator for us I've never burned myself so bad before Let me see. oh my god that's bad I've never smelt burning flesh before oh shit <laughs> antiseptic antibiotic ointment there we go this yeah. is probably not gonna feel good do I wrap it in something? I'd leave it open right now. Okay. Just try not to bump it against stuff. Try not to touch the exhaust again? Yeah, that too. <laughs> it failed. It failed. It failed. Yeah. Okay, quick update on the leg. It probably burned about the size of my palm on the back of my leg. I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to demonetize this video because it looks pretty gross. I'm okay. I'll be fine. I'm more worried about how it's gonna look tomorrow or when I shower later, how that's gonna feel. But we can confirm the alternator is what is bad. So Sandy's in there buying a new alternator and then we'll swap it out and we should be good to go. Sandy's teaching me the most ghetto stuff I've ever seen to remove nuts and bolts in an O'Reilly's parking lot when you need to. Hey, when, when you need to get the job done, you do what it takes. I'm just, I'm just impressed right now. There we go. So our next issue is we can swap the pulleys, but this bolt hole is a lot smaller than this. I say we just buy a drill and drill it out. 7 16 Cool. Oh, perfect. The price can't burn more than my leg right now, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm scared to hit this exhaust now. <laughs> Victim later, we made it. Sandy loves my dark humor. It's freezing and now we're late for dinner, but it's okay. Because honestly, I would take working on a car in an auto parts parking lot 10 times out of 10, nine times out of 10 over a nice dinner anyways. But that's just me. Why'd that just drop? Fucking cars. The car just died, you guys. It showed itself off. Yeah, it just took a poop. Can we leave cars here overnight? I wouldn't leave this. <laughs> no way. Someone would part this out in a heartbeat. So there's a world where the guy told us that the alternator was bad when it wasn't. I looked over his shoulder when he was doing the test and it said test failed. I didn't know any better. We're just gonna put the other bad one back into it so that we can make dinner. We already returned the new alternator, put the old one back on, bottle voltmeter, now we're testing it. Firing. Okay. Push? I push you. <laughs> I say just get in, let's go. All right, we're gonna drive back, we're gonna rush to the dinner, but I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. We're gonna... Laser. I miss my camera doing it. I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna circle back, see if we can get this fixed so that we don't get left stranded. Why is this beeping at me? 
Oh, well, we made it. What's the volt? It's at eight. Oh yeah. We're talking on the way back and we're thinking maybe it's the battery. I just, I don't think that guy did that test right. I don't think he did either. Yeah. I think had he done that right, we would have just bought a battery. So we're pretty confident that it was in fact the battery. See, so you went to go grab a new battery this morning. Uh, this is temporary. We'll get something that fits a little nicer later on, but let's fire it. Thanks. Yeah, a little ratchet strap for battery mount there. A little couple adapters to make this tractor battery work. Lawn tractor. <laughs> Can confirm I got a pretty gnarly second degree burn on the back of my leg that's about the size of my palm. I don't want to put it on this video, but I'm happy to show it to you guys if you want to see it. But you have to go follow me on Instagram because I'll throw it up on my stories and I'm going to do like disclaimer or trigger warning, I don't know, but uh, I'll put all my Instagram stories. As of right now, everything's reading and looking good. I can't believe after four hours in O'Reilly's parking lot, after being told by the guy it was an alternator, it was not the alternator. An easy battery swap would have fixed everything. We think the battery was just too dead be able to hold a charge and it was great from the alternator so we got it fixed and that's all that matters we're gonna hope that that's all it was can you see my melted flesh on the exhaust no it must have burned off <laughs> you know it's concerning when even sandy goes oh that's bad and then i text a photo to troy and he starts freaking out on the phone over it all right let's head to laguna beautiful race you guys it is the end of the day here at Laguna Seca and we're gonna go on the track they're gonna allow us to do three laps it's a parade lap but we're gonna have some fun Santa's gonna be taking out the Daytona I'm gonna be taking out the Ferrari send it have fun be oh, safe oh, yeah. shout out to Motul for letting this happen and what a great way to finish this rally I'm making sure everyone's on the track and then hopefully we get to pick up a little bit of speed watching you grow we out here with love bye <laughs>
I couldn't believe it! 